radio signals don't just broadcast in one direction. They act more like a visible light. So if a router is placed in a corner or has anything blocking it, its coverage will be reduced. Typically, the best location for your wireless router to help maximize Wi-Fi coverage is in the central location relative to the area to be covered. This reduces wasted coverage area and reduces the distance between connected devices and the router. Placing the router in a higher position, such as on a shelf or even mounted on the ceiling or wall, helps the Wi-Fi signal avoid obstacles, maximizing coverage areas. Thick, dense materials, such as metal doors, concrete or brick walls, and even large bodies of water, such as a large aquarium or water tank, can absorb and interrupt Wi-Fi signals. The ground is also a very effective blocker of Wi-Fi. Avoiding these obstacles is a good way to increase your router coverage. On the other hand, glass, plywood, and drywall typically have minimal effect on Wi-Fi signals. It is also best to avoid other devices that use radio signals to communicate. Many electronic products, such as cordless phones and baby monitors, transmit on the 2.4 GHz band and may crowd the channels used by your router. The 5 GHz band offers less interference, but is more susceptible to being blocked by obstacles. Other wireless routers in the area may be a strong source of interference. This is especially true on the 2.4 GHz band, where there are only three non-overlapping channels. Eagle Pro AI routers help avoid the issue by continually scanning for the best Wi-Fi channel to minimize interference. For wireless routers with adjustable antennas, it is helpful to think of the signal from the antenna as a donut centered on the antenna. If you've placed your router upstairs and want to achieve a stronger signal across two floors, it's best to turn the antenna sideways. And if it's placed on the ground floor, it's advisable to turn your antenna upwards to maximize coverage.